Hello, welcome to Dunk Girls Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Today, we're reviewing the BBC short, Robbie the Reindeer. While we're doing that, we're going to be playing Dot Hack Volume 4 Quarantine on the PlayStation 2. There's a... Um, there's an area code in this game that takes you to, like, a winter dungeon. Wow, I have 116 hours. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, it takes... I'm pretty sure they take the hours from the uh, other games if you convert the data. So that's, like, between all four games I have that many uh, hours. <laughs> okay, we're going to play the world. <laughs> Uh, if you haven't played this game before, it's basically, it's, it's an RPG set inside of an MMO, alright? So it's, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool game. So I'm gonna, oh, I have one of the rare weapons equipped. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna form a party. I got Mia, Orca, Marlo, Sinjuro, Nuke, Balmong, Moonstone, Pyros, Wise Man, Elk, Natsumi, Rachel, Gardenia, Terajima Rico, Black Rose, Mistral, Helba, Sukasa, one of the characters from the anime, Subaru and Sora. Uh, yeah, these three, uh, you can unlock them playing the game, and they're, and they're, um, well, she's level capped, and, uh, the, these three, yeah, you can unlock them playing the game. Who's at a low level? They're pretty much all the same level. So, yeah, we'll take, we'll take, oh, man, who do we take? Yeah, let's take Sukasa. Who was the main character? And we're gonna take. Oh uh, shit. It's been a while since I played this game, so. We're gonna take. Who do we take? We'll be more balanced if we take Subaru, but let's. Yeah, let's take. Sora. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, so th this uh, movie. Came out. It's a short that's like about 29, 30 minutes long. It's directed by Richard Starzak. Music by Mark Nofter and Guy Fletcher. And uh, Richard Starzak worked on the Shaun the Sheep, which is like claymation short films. Um, the, the the cast are Robbie Williams as the narrator, Ardo O'Hannon from uh, Father Ted as Robbie the Reindeer. You got Paul Whitehouse as Prancer, Jane Horrocks as Donner, Steve Coogan as Blitzen, right? And, um, they're, uh, is that Reese Ifans? Okay. And Harry Enfield as Old Jingle. If you, if you, um, watch the American dub of this film, you get, uh, Ben Stiller, ben Stiller as Robbie the Reindeer, Britney Spears as Donner, James Woods as the narrator, Brad uh, Garrett from uh, Everybody Loves Raymond as Prancer, Hugh Grant as Blitzen, and Jim Belushi as Santa Claus. Wow, Jerry Stiller plays Old Jingle. I tried to watch the uh, the uh, American dub. I couldn't find it. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. This is too dark. Let's, uh, take the setting. Okay, that, that works a little better. This is a very dark game. Uh, fuck. Trying to find... Uh, trying to come up with the... Uh... Fertile... That's water. Is that gonna be... Is water snow? I don't know. 
We want snow. No. 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 That's a wood. Well, let's try white devil. Maybe that'll go to s snow. We're trying to find some of the snow fields. Because that looks like winter. That looks Christmassy. Yes, we got we got one. This is winter. Okay. It's been a while since I played this game. So yeah, the uh, this movie is basically a, uh, claymation, like stop motion, animated short about this uh, reindeer called Robbie. Who is the son of Rudolph, right? Who retired. Um, who retired. And he sends his son. You don't see Rudolph at all. And he sends his son to join the reindeer team. To build character. Because Robbie is, is, uh, is a lazy layabout. <laughs> who likes to eat junk food, right? But he has like a great nose, right? His no, his nose can can pretty much you know do like everything. He can like bounce on it, uh, great heights, and like he can find um, and it can you know it helps him navigate, right? Oh, there's an enemy. Ah, fuck. Let's see if I can use skills. Uh... Thunder, I think Thunder beats uh, Darkness. Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, let's see. Tukasa Heal. Okay. Um, yeah, so like the movie is basically, it's kind of like... Uh, Rudolph, the reindeer games, but it's, but it's, but it's about, like, you know, Ru uh, Robbie, the reindeer, who joins the reindeer team, and, uh, the guy in charge of the reindeer team, Blitzen, who's voiced by Steve Coogan, really hates Rudolph, and whenever somebody tries to say Rudolph's name, um, so, so, tries to say Rudolph's name, he, he shows up out of nowhere, and tries to stop them, right, from seeing it, because he, he just hates, like, Rudolph, right? Oh, my God, that, that didn't do shit. What the fuck is, what the fuck is strong against wood? I can't remember. Uh... Oh, my God. I thought this would be. I thought this would be easier because I'm so high level. But I haven't played this game in forever. Use skills, goddamn it! Oh my god! So yeah, the the movie is basically about Robbie the reindeer. Um, you know, is it joins the the reindeer game. Uh, sorry, uh, joins the reindeer team. But, uh, gets sabotaged by Blitzen. Right? Because Blitzen hates Robbie's dad, Rudolph, right? That hates, uh, um, Rudolph's, uh, yeah, hates Rudolph, right? And, um, how he sabotages him is that Santa Claus throws this party, right? And Santa Claus, um... Uh, Santa Claus froze this party, and Santa Claus' wife and baby both have beards just like him, <laughs> which is, like, a little weird, right? And, uh, yeah, a little weird. Let's use a fairy orb. That, that shows where all the enemies are and the items are on the map. So, so, yeah, um... And, like, you know, Santa Claus uh, shows off a new uh, sleigh that he has. And Blitzen, 
Blitzen tells him, hey, get a new sleigh that has, like, GPS on it. So it made it so, like, um, Robbie is no longer needed on the team, which he's supposed to be the narrator, the, not the narrator, the navigator, right? And uh, so, like, you know, um, so uh, they decide that, okay, whoever places last on the on the reindeer games would get kicked off the team and because you know uh blitz uh robbie was lazy and wasn't getting fit because that's what they the reindeers do when they're not um when on uh on every day that's not christmas they train right yeah so like uh robbie gets help to tr train before the reindeer games uh with uh his uh, girlfriend's help, or sorry, the love interest's help, who is Donner, who has a crush, a crush on Robbie. But Robbie, at the beginning of the movie, has a crush on Vixen, who's the hot reindeer on the team. Which the female reindeers have like boobs, man. It's it's uh, kind of weird, <laughs> right? Oh my god, Tsukasa, first aid, goddamn it. Uh, oh, they have a physical torrent, so we need to, we need to use magic. Okay. Sorry, it's been a while since I played this game. This is an awesome game. Uh, it, I don't know if it looks like it when I'm playing it, but... <laughs> Oh, it has a physical torrent. Okay. This one too? Oh my god. And guys, use skills and... Not not skills. Uh, magic. Magic. That's how you talk to your party members. Like, you have, the, you have to use the menu. Because, like, yeah, this is supposed to be an M MMO. What, le what level is my guy? Oh, I'm level 97. Okay. Prepared to die. It's an 82 rare weapon. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if that's the best weapon in the game. But, uh, looks cool. Looks cool. Yeah, so, like, uh, um,. There's a funny scene in the at a party where like R Robbie sent uh, Vixen flowers and like uh, Vixen comes o goes over to Robbie at the party and Robbie can't oh my god R Robbie can't talk to girls he has a crush on all right so like you know she goes on to she goes uh, to him like Robbie. Uh, I I got sent flowers today. I know I know it was you because they were cheap. <laughs> and Robbie goes, uh, Robbie's like, that was all the money I had. <laughs> that was me trying to do an Irish accent. Which uh, Robbie in the movie, if you watch the UK dub, totally sounds like totally sounds like uh, Colin Farrell. I totally thought it was Colin Farrell, right? And it turns, yeah, it turns, it's like some guy from, um, Father Ted, which I never watched that show. I think he was the guy, I could be wrong, but he, I think he was the guy who, uh, had a tiff with, um, with, uh, some skeptic on YouTube because, you know, uh, he's a, the, the guy's a comedian, right? And he said, like, you know, uh, they, they passed a bunch of laws in the UK, right, where people can go to jail for, like, offensive jokes or whatever, and, like, you know, the, the guy agreed with it, and people went on, people went to watch the show and found, like, you know, there was an episode where Father Ted, uh, dressed up as a German World War II soldier, <laughs> so it was like, you know, the guy was, like, proven to be a hypocrite, alright? Yeah, that that was that was that was that was a good day on the internet. Yeah, 
So the other guy, the there's another character that helps uh, that helps Robbie uh, train for the for the reindeer games, which is like this crazy reindeer named Old Man Jingle, who lives on a house that's like on top of a pointy cliff, right? Uh, which they, um, which you know the the. Before they train, like you know, he, he he's like, okay, let's let's uh go let's go down the hill. Stay where you are, and like he makes the house slide down the fucking uh down the cliff. After they finish training, after they finish training, he look he looks at his house and like, man, this is a way better spot for a house. I I would be mad if I tried to put push my house back up that, like, cliff, off that cliff, uh, like, that pointy mountain, right? Which, what, that's what he does. <laughs> that's what he does. So what happens is while, uh, Robbie's supposed to be at the reindeer games, the, the old man Jingle tries to push his house up the mountain on top of that pointy cliff, uh, uh pointy top of the mountain, and gets, like, so I gotta tell my retarded party members what to do. It's like attack with magic, dummies. So like, yeah, he gets uh, the house slides down while he's pushing it. He gets trapped under his trapped under his house, and um, and like you know, one of the elf characters, right, uh, goes to get Robbie, right, and um, Robbie. Misses the start of misses the start of a of a race to go help old man Jingle, right? Which which he does, and then he goes back. He has the race and uh, loses, but he only loses by the by a nose, right? Right to uh, Blitzen, which it turns out Blitzen was on steroids. But yeah, there's a lot of adult humor in this movie. That's supposed to be for kids. Like I saw this movie as a kid, and I it told I totally like. Um, I guess I didn't understand like oh my god, understand the adult jokes in the movie, right? Which is when like you know when when uh, Robbie wins the reindeer games, Jingle's watching on TV with the elf, and he tells the elf. To, like, marry him. <laughs> They're both men, by the way. And he's like, yes, you mad, you mad bastard. <laughs> you, mad, you mad reindeer. Like, you crazy reindeer. Not mad bastard, like crazy reindeer. Yeah. So, and uh, obviously, um... And Robbie realizes that, like, you know, um... That, uh... Vixen is a bitch. A shadow bitch. And, like, you know... Uh, gets with uh, Donner instead, which is the reindeer who had a crush on him on the team, right? So yeah, that's how the movie ends. There's a sequel about uh, them finding like a lost tribe of um, Vikings, which I thought was okay, right? Uh, yeah, so overall, I thought overall I enjoyed the movie. The, sorry, the sh the thirty minute short. I thought the jokes were funny. And, like, the animation looked great, right? And so there's some cool jokes. There's some funny jokes in the movie. But, like, the movie's mostly funny to me because, it, like, the guy just sounds like, you know, uh, the guy, the, Robbie just sounds like Colin Farrell to me. <laughs> and, like, you know, I think Colin Farrell, despite being a serious actor, is actually really funny. Especially if you see movies like In Bruges. Right, which is probably one of my favorite uh, comedies. Ralph Fiennes is hilarious in that movie, and uh, Brandon Gleason's in it too. And the funny thing about that movie, at first I hated it, but then when I would go back to watch In Bruges, I loved it, man. I don't know what was up with that. So yeah, I don't know. I really. Enjoyed the f the film though. I don't know if I would let kids watch it nowadays because it there is some political stuff in the 
in the movie. I don't know. It's the thing where, like, the gay, the gay jokes, I don't know if that was intentional or not. It's, like, hard to tell. Like, the gay joke near the end. Uh, I don't know if that was supposed to be progressive or not, or just, like, you know, a joke. I, I, I have no idea. Oh, I have, uh, I have healing spells. I didn't know that. I, f I totally forgot. Oh, my God, this fucker. Tsukasa, like, can you, like, help or something? I don't know. This is attack. Everybody attack. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's try using magic. Motherfucker. So, yeah, that, that's it for this Christmas month review. Um, I'll let you guys decide the next Christmas month um, movie. Either The Ref with Dennis Leary and Kevin Spacey, which is a comedy crime film, or J Jerry, um, what's his name? <laughs> oh my god, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, with the one with, um, oh my god, I can't remember the actor's name. The guy who went crazy, and he's all into politics now, he was in like, Jim Carrey, that's the guy I was thinking of. Uh, yeah, that's who I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of. Jim Carrey. Man, we haven't even went into the dungeon yet. <laughs> so yeah, um, th those are the choices. The ref for How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And later on, I'm thinking of reviewing... Uh, I'm going to review this week... Um, the first Naruto movie. Uh... Uh, Clash in the Land of Snow, which you can watch on Tubi. I have it on DVD somewhere. But I might just watch it on Tubi. Because I think they have the English dub. So I might as well watch the English dub. Do I have a Grundy? You have Grundies in this game, right? You have to go, I think you have to go to Key Island. Oh, I do have a Grundy. It. Oh, I have two Grundies. Okay. Yeah, you have mounts in this game. Just like in the show. I only have two. Can't you raise three per... I think you can raise one per, like, you know, server. This is my... This is one of the Grundies I have. And it plays this retarded music. <laughs> Way music. Man, I, aesthetically, this game is beautiful, man. They really need to make a new dot hack game. Oh, fun fact. Sora from uh, Dot Hack Sign is actually. Uh, Hiseo from GU, for people who don't know. They're, like, the same person. Uh, which is fun, like, finding out that stuff. Grundies are lame. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well, that's it for this review, guys.